and we're live. <laughs> what is up, everybody? Um, welcome back to another episode of uh, Conversations from Above. Above. I'm James. I'm Isaac. I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, welcome. Uh, how's your day been, bro? It's been pretty, pretty good. I got out of two of my classes like super early. I got out like 50 minutes early out of two of my classes. So, yeah. That's I mean, always the best feeling. I had some out. time to chill, and then I had some time to get home earlier than normal. Nice. Beat you down home? Um, no. Aw, uh, that sucks. So, yeah, he is. He's still... That's the best feeling when you get home from, like, school or work, and you realize you have the whole house here, so... Yeah. That, that... <laughs> so, I'd just be, like, watching... So some, like, anime, like, super loud. <laughs> <laughs> Walking around naked. <laughs> um, but, yeah... Yeah, good day. That's a pretty good day, though. Pretty good day. Mm-hmm. Nice. Glad we're broadcasting now. Yeah. Well, my day. Well, <laughs> my day turned out. I'm not gonna. Be good, man. I'm not gonna be a bitch. Um, my day was good. Man. You know, morning was a little rough, but did stop me from having a good day. That was this morning the day that you. Yeah. So. Left at eleven. Yeah. So I usually leave the house for uh, school at around nine thirty. I got up super early to um, this morning at like 7.30 because I realized that I had, like, last night doing homework, I was like, yeah, I got to stay for a quiz. I was like, I'm going to just do that in the morning. So I woke up, like, two hours early. No, an hour early before I started getting ready. I studied, got everything that I needed to do. And I was like, okay, I'm going to leave here at 9.30 so I can get to school and study for, like, you know, another hour or so. I was like, okay, let's go. I'll leave at 9.30. Didn't happen. I started working on my homework for like until like 11. No, I started working on it for like an hour and a half and like just some, just some bullshit was just like, um, I was just doing some random shit and. <laughs> you suck at time man. Like, yeah, yeah, I do. I like, just, how do you bat like that? Like, two it was just hours, today. Like, it was just today. I don't know why, but then I looked at the clock and I was like, fuck, I gotta leave. And it was like, I didn't leave till like 11 o'clock. But the thing is, I had to drop my dog off. So that took like, Andy yeah. gas. So that was another thirty minutes. What? I didn't leave till like eleven thirty. My time. class started at twelve forty. I dro- it's an hour drive. An hour and eight minute drive. I got to freaking class like five minutes before it started. Didn't have time to study. I did like I, I was just like fine. Did you not study the whole morning? I mean yeah, but still like I wanted to review like you know what I'm saying? And I was like fuck. So I go through like she gives out the quiz, it's like five questions. Don't know any of it. Not the material I studied. Like I was, I was literally just because I was studying vocab. You know, so like I like to spend time on vocab. No, I missed a section or something. <laughs> and, Did you suck? And I was like, fuck. And I, but then like I only missed like two. I like so like you know I missed two out of five. Or I got three out of five correct. But that's still kind of upsetting. It's not the worst grade. Yeah. But I mean I can't blame my body. That was me. I should I should kept up. And stuff like that, but so I was like, you know, cool. I'm gonna go out through my day. You know, morning was kind of iffy. Kind of, I just I got I got over it when I got to school. So I was like, yeah. Um, and then I got to class. Right, I get to my second fucking class. Counting, you guys know how much I hate counting. <laughs> um, before like, no, I don't know how we got there, but I was just like jotting down notes, and next thing I hear is like. Um, it was some along the lines where it's like you got if you want no he shows the sc- like he he shows this piece of note like um it was a sticky note like mm-hmm. on the projector and it, it was like how many people pass this class how many people predict this class right and um, I guess he was just trying to motivate us before like you know class started or something yeah. some but did not dude so this, he goes to he like he goes he puts this freaking sticky note on the projector. And it shows how many people, like, what grades people got, dude. I think out of 64 students he had last semester, half of them either withdraw from the class or failed. Yeah, and I was like, nope. I was like, I, he brought this up early, like, early in the year, too. And I was like, nah, bro, I should drop. I was yeah. like, I'm sorry, dude, but I'm not taking that chance. But then uh, the next thing I know is, it was like, you, it was like, you gotta shoot for... You got to shoot from A's and B's, you know, don't get like, yeah. C or D, right? And he keeps going, and he's like, because he was like, because if you do, 
if you if you graduate from MTSU with just C's and D's, it's basically worthless. You probably just wasted your time. Exact fucking words. Mm-hmm. It made me so upset because like you know how many people in this class have C's right now yeah. and D's. You know how many people hated school, graduated high school with bare minimum because shit has gone down, and they force themselves to go to college because they know they could do yeah. better. You know. And now that their teachers, and now the teachers saying that, that you it, have C's or D's. Yeah, exactly. And he's wondering why his fucking class failed, bro. This yeah, dude, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, how's his class failed? And like, it's like, you think you can't be that type of teacher? Like, you can't expect your kids to like do good. In your I life. was so upset. I was like, that's the most bullshit I've yeah. ever heard in my life. You pretty much just bring them down. You're making them. You're just like saying like, like not even that. Don't exactly. Try. So you're telling these people who go to who want to have education. Are and they're paying for it, you know. And they're paying for it because and they're forcing themselves to do better than they did in high school. And you're telling them that once they graduate out of this place with like a C or D, and like you know that they try as hard as they're, as hard as they can to get these C's or D's, and you're telling them that they just wasted their time because and he was like, yeah, no job would accept you with C's or D's. Bullshit, dude. You know how many doctors so, uh, and dentists and yeah. have C's and D's. Dude, my dad, my dad even tells me like I have A's and D's, and he's just like like people have like that have A's like. Like the like CEO or like or the manager of the company and then like people have B they're like the man, like assistant managers and there's like people have C they're like the owners of the whole entire company. Dude, it's just, it's just like I was so upset, dude. I was like, you are a fucking idiot. Yeah. Like you are a straight dumbass. Like if like maybe like he said something just like to motivate you, like. People had C, like you know, rather than being down yeah. towards them, how I see motivating it, them like a kid can, like that could change like someone's life. How I see, but, like it, people don't see. You that give a hundred percent at any class you do, hundred percent. You and you get through that class. Be fucking proud of that C. Yeah. Be proud of that D. Be proud of what you did yeah, because you worked your ass. Exactly. Off, you know? Don't like you know what I'm saying. It, don't don't take anybody shit or you know anything. Yeah. Like be proud of your craft. Be proud of what you did. Don't tell anybody to tell you that that shit was worthless and it was wasting your time because it's not good enough. Yeah. It was good enough for you and that's all that matters. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And this, it's made me so upset because I was just like, um, and the fact that he said no job would accept you would just draw the line. I was like, yeah. that's not even statistically correct. Like, you're just bullshitting now. Mm-hmm. And after like that whole fucking, like, mo- whatever, it's not even a motivational speech, you know? It's just a fucking dumbass statement. After that shit, Nobody said shit. Like the like, like the class was out. Like nobody was like, everybody was just shocked. Mm-hmm. Like I was so. But anyways, <laughs> um yeah. So after that, I went through. It was so hard for me to focus, to just to focus on what he's trying to like teach. Because yeah. it was just so ingrained into my head that I was just like, I can't believe you just said that. Yeah. I can't believe you're like, like super upset about it. You think about it the whole time. Yeah, man. like the complete opposite of motivation and. It, 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 I, I should drop. I was so upset. I was like, I'm fucking dropping this kind of, kind of class. But, um, yeah. But, you know what? It wasn't going to stop me from having a good day. I fucking, felt like, you know, just forced myself to just try ignoring it yeah. throughout the whole day. But, like, I instantly just, like, once the bell rang, you know, I packed up my shit before, like, he, like, finished, like, teaching. Like, that's how, that's how upset I was. And he, he knows he, he hates people like that. And I, I was just doing it. I was just, just had that shit zipped up. I was like on my phone. Like I did not give a fuck after that. And once that, once you know, time was up, he was like, "We're ready to go." I just fucking walked out. I, I stormed out of there. I was so like, that was the fucking dumbest shit ever. Can you take a water? The green one. Yeah. Mm, it's not fair, but um. Uh, but no, uh, yeah, I'd be hell upset too. Some yeah. teachers just be crossing lines like for no reason. Oh. Um, like why they gotta be upsetting people? I know you've had your experience with um, a teacher. How's that going? With Bowie, <laughs> with that, with that man, yeah, I literally had him last, no, not last semester, I think the semester before that, mm-hmm. I had him, and I dropped him, for like the first day, he just made me like making some like racist comments, so I was like, nope, dropped it, so I dropped that class, and then I had to take history again, like I had to do it this semester, because I had to take another history during the summer, mm-hmm. and I take a history, and like, I had a different teacher at Wexler because I was like, I'm not taking Bowie because I didn't want him because I hated him. But like, it ended up like I having like four classes in one day. I did not want that. So I like went to my advisor and I was like, can I change this? And she's like, yeah. For the, rather than like having like one class on like two days, I would have two classes. I would just have history at like an earlier yeah. time before. So 
I'd be like, heck yeah, you know, I get out earlier on the on like every single day pretty much. And I'll have four classes in one day. So I'm like, okay. But the teacher was bogey, so I had to take him again. So I have this dude, and he once again made some super racist comment in class. And I'm like, dude, I hate this dude so much. I'm not gonna lie, he did apologize to like the next class. He was like, I had to think about it and realize from the other side, and he realized he was wrong. But like the fact that he brought it up in the first place. Like, it was just so messed up at the time. It's funny. Like, his mindset was so messed up at the time. Like, I, I, had, I've had I was just astonished. I had him before. Yeah. Um, and I want to drop him again. I, I, mm. Yeah. It, he's... I. You know what I should start doing, honestly? Do. Rate my professor. Like, I, I'm yeah. going to do that shit every time. Like, yeah, I'm going to rate him, and I'm going to be like, yeah, this dude's sure of racist. Do not take Dude, yeah. Class. Do that. Like, set, like, give reviews, but I'm also going to be for, like... Before I even go to my classes, I'm just gonna rate all my professors and drop the classes and like replace them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But some people, some like some people just don't need to teach. Yeah, some people do. Yeah, some they don't need to teach. teaching. If, if you don't love it and want to like help kids like yeah. improve, if their you're life, only there for a fucking paycheck, kill yourself. <laughs> don't kill yourself. That's no, I'm serious. Sure. Like, if you're really you, the teachers, you better take. Teaching serious, like I'm. Yeah, but that's still messed up, bro. You can't. I mean, yeah, but I'm not kill yourself. But, but yeah, no, you should not be teaching. If like, if you're in there, not for the right reasons, you know. If you don't love to teach, if you don't love to like help kids, you know, improve their life, you know. I'm just big on like. I'm just really big on like, just teachers. It's like you, your effect. This is you have the next generation in front of your hands. Whatever you say. Anything biased is what they're gonna take, you know. Mm-hmm. Like they're gonna take those knowledge and you know, like use them the way, um, like you would use them, you know. What I'm saying yeah. like how that teacher would use them. And it's just like stay away from biased things, you know. Let them give them choices, just like a parent, you know. What I'm saying yeah. it's like you don't feed them all this bad energy, you know, or like just some bullshit that you don't even know is true, mm-hmm. you know. And this is the way I see it is that some teachers like a lot of them go to college for studying like yeah. um I don't know writing and stuff like that you know and they like get a career in it but they decide they want to be a teacher because they have like good days off, yeah. good pay. I mean, there's not a lot of jobs out there that pay like for you to have two summer, like yeah, two months. exactly. And, you know, and, you get, and like half. It's, it's not the best pay, but it's pretty good pay and benefits. So. Yeah, and good benefits. So, I think it's good because we need those people, but also it's kind of wrong because just because they have a degree in that type of area doesn't mean they should be teaching yeah and like the people who do it just because they get those days off and the benefits and everything yeah. they are that's you know you but i do that. respect like i do respect like, i you, still respect you for doing it yeah, yeah. so i think they deserve some you know but like just be nice to your kids. Try to like communicate with them. Just try to connect with them to teach them in a way to where they want to be taught. You know. You know what I wish um, was taught um, in our younger days. Whenever we were like starting off school, I wish it was okay for teachers to tell us that it's okay to be wrong. Like mm-hmm, to yeah. you, for you to raise your hand and if you get it wrong, nothing happens. Yeah. Because you know, like that's the reason why like nobody likes to raise their hand is because like you feel like whenever you say something wrong, you're gonna get made fun of. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know that's the reason. And I, I've had like in my head like I would just be like the answer. Yeah, I know it's correct. And yeah. don't don't raise my hand. It happened to me today. We were I was in theater class and like we were talking about different stuff that can catch a person's like attention and play. Yeah. And they talk about like spotlights and they talk about the actor itself and then they talk about um like some other stuff. And in my head I was like costumes. Mm-hmm. Costumes is something that grabs people. Cuz I was looking at it this dude it was um Hamlet but it was like he was completely like painted, mm-hmm. right? Rather than bloody he was painted. And he had this like crown. And I was like, bro, that looked like LeBron's crown, dude. That was about to. I was like, dude, that was gonna tell a teacher because he's pretty chill. I was like, 
why is he wearing a LeBron crown like all upon his chest? And I was like, the whole time, I was like, the whole time that caught me, it was a costume, that caught me, it was, yeah, like, yeah. I thought it was dope that it was all painted, but I was like, Kind of, this sounds kind of stupid. I was like, I don't know what to say to him. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, sometimes, like, a kid says something, he's like, yeah, I guess, kind of like that. And they do, you just, you, I was like, dude, that kid must feel stupid. He's like, he's just kind of low-key roasted him, dude, but he obviously can't. Like, and then I feel like I'm going to, like, if I say it, but I'm, I was just, like, costumed. And then he's like, no one, he's like, is that any, anyone has anything else to say? And no one said anything. He's like, another thing is costumes. I'm like, God, I'm a bitch. Oh, what I would have said it's so cool. He talked about it for a good minute. That was like his biggest point. I was like, fuck. Yeah, dude. Fuck. But, um, yeah, I wish teachers taught that because it kind of, I feel like it would help a lot with things, people who have anxiety now. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like that kind of eased them out but, like, a lot. Yeah, I think the way he teaches still kind of like gets me out of my comfort zone yeah. sometimes because I still do talk. Which is not as much as I, you know. Yeah, yeah. But he's like those that teacher that just makes you want to participate. Mm -hmm. And he's super chill, you know. Like, I don't want to say, but, like, you know, mm -hmm. some stuff like, that he likes to do, know, like... Like I said, like, I, 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 if the school system would just teach people, um, if the school system would teach people at their own pace, instead of, like, putting everybody in a certain amount of time, you know, a certain amount of things by, you know, like, this period of time, I feel like, um, I feel like whenever you get your kid, like, comfortable and, like, he's, like, like everybody's kids who was able to like raise their hands and like answer, like you're you'll probably get more data on kids who like who actually need a little mm -hmm. more help. You know, you'd have to take them and like teach a, the class a little slower. Because if you're expecting everybody to be like you know at the same pace, not every kid's like that. You know, yeah. but if you get him to raise his hands and he's wrong every time, you know, and he's only getting things right and wrong, like he's not understanding. Like you would go back and review. Mm -hmm. You know, it'll help. Like all that. And you just got, I want, I want, like, if we, like, that's how I would like to change the school system is go to, like, start, start in the beginning. Make a kid feel comfortable, like, you know, tell them that whenever they're wrong, the, a ground under, like, a hole in the ground isn't going to suck them up and, and eat them, you know? Yeah. Make them, make them raise their hands, you know? Like, even if they got it wrong, you know, reward them, you know, for yeah. trying. Like, you kidding me? But then, then that also comes to a point where, like, there are people that, you know, like in baseball games, right? Mm -hmm. Nowadays, even if you lose, you steal your trophy. Now, a lot of people have problems with that. Yeah. Because, like, you know, that kind of teaches them that, like, oh, even if you do bad, Horrible. you should get rewarded. And that's kind of not a lot. That doesn't build good, like, I don't think that'll build good, like, leaders and what they're, like, it doesn't build, like, a good, like, I know. Uh, I don't know how to explain. It just doesn't build a good character. Okay. In a person, in my what opinion. Because they're always going to expect to be rewarded even if they do something bad. And that does not create a good character of a person. And it doesn't, it's going to kind of make them weak in a way of like. But what about reward, but then bigger rewards? Like, what if place, like, you know, if a kid gets it wrong, but, maybe it twists. Maybe, no. But if he gets something like completely correct, like a Hershey bar song. The way I see it is, like, think of Abraham Lincoln. If he didn't lose so many times, he wouldn't be the great man he was. He really wouldn't. If he succeeded, like what he wants, what he wants to be like governor, he'd be governor. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. He probably would not become president. Who knows? But since he failed so many times, he just became, you know, president. Yeah. He did what he did at the exact time that he needed to be there. So it kind of, he kind of changed. So I kind of with the other way really mm -hmm. i i just I, I see it different with teaching though i mean why i because i feel like it's because it's what if that kid could have like had a chance to catch up what if you if you write them at a certain pace he got everything and at this four and on he's just passing everybody else i'm just saying even, like i want us to be able to even out just the game you know i wouldn't want to just like no yeah but I'm I'm talking about like being rewarded just like for doing bad. No, for, like, but losing. Just, but like if you lose in a game, you should like feel the loss so you can do better. But do you if you win every time, you're not gonna want to like train as hard because people take losses mm -hmm. and then they train it's like that boxing match between that dude. You're like, oh, your dad liked this, yeah. and I was like, yeah, me and my dad watched that fight, and like 
If that guy didn't lose, he wouldn't have trained as hard as he did. Yeah, he wouldn't have been able to beat but him. But so you take that too for the kids like learning in school? Yes. Like you would mm-hmm. like so if they don't raise their hand, right? You know, even if they got it, like you know, right? I think they should be taught yes to do that. Okay. But like, if they get it wrong, don't reward like, them. Don't you don't need to reward them? Just like make sure they know it's okay. To have an open mind. But what would be a good technique as, to as keep people Like, some right? teachers, like, some teachers do it very well to where even if you get it wrong, they kind of try to tie it into the subject and make yeah. it feel like it's part of it, you know? And we need more of that. And we need more teachers like that because it gets people wanting to talk more and, like, yeah. when people, more people conversate, so, it opens people's minds. So you're saying don't reward because you get it wrong, just, like, kind of tell them it's okay to get it wrong? Not in that wrong? way. In the way of competition, I think. It should be more of a win or loss, but if it's more of a like studying yeah. type deal, I don't know. I guess it depends. Cause the way I also see it's kind of private schools. Mm-hmm. A lot of them teach kids at their own pace because they're paying a mm-hmm. lot of money. Yeah, you're right. You know, for a teacher to teach him to be super smart, so he has a teacher dedicated to him at all times, right? Yeah, and like. Someone like that, they're, you know, going to be super smart. No, don't get me wrong. And, like, if everyone had someone like that, if everyone had a dedicated teacher that was teaching them at all times, but then the thing is, is no, I don't think it would work. Because people would just kind of constantly be redoing each other's jobs, you know? Mm. But don't get me wrong. It was sports that I don't, I don't fuck with participation trophies. Yeah, man, that shit was embarrassing when I didn't realize what that shit was, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get that shit on my face. I want that, I want that big old trophy I can put myself in, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially like with my kids, like, like whenever I get kids, like, yeah. I, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna tell them to put 100% everything, and I will correct them, but like, if you try your best, I promise you, like, you know, like, I'll support you. Yeah, like we're gonna train harder, like you know, especially if you want to be the best. If they want to be the best at video game, I'm gonna buy them the best computer if you want. But there are some parents who like, who like force like too much on them. I want to say with sports, Mm -hmm. and they don't even. Some kids end up hating the sport growing up. Yeah, you know, like they'd be the best to a certain point, and they're just like, fuck. I hate this. And let's you gotta because you're teaching, you gotta make enjoyable. Mm -hmm. You know, the sports, school. You know, you got to make it enjoyable. You want these people, you got to make them want to like it. You know, you want to yeah. make them enjoy push, the yes, exactly. the, Enjoy what they're doing because they're spending so much time, they're dedicating so much time to it. If they're not enjoying it, like, that's just horrible. Yeah, and... You're going to make them resent it. Like, especially if I want my kid to be the, the best. Like, I, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm not going to force you to be the best and you end up, end up killing yourself. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's not worth it. Mm-hmm. You know, like... That, what what do I achieve in that? Yeah. What do I achieve? You becoming the best. That no, oh, that's my son. Yeah, yeah. I made him a douchebag. I made him, you know, big. I'm um, a sport he hates. You know. Yeah. You're not. Oh, awesome. good for you. I clap. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I single clap for you. Good you know what I'm saying? But yeah, no, fuck that. You should just let your kid be open minded and let them do what they want, and you just support them fully in that. If they want to do some. Be like, okay, son, I'm gonna support you. If you work your ass off, I'll, you know, I'll help you pay for whatever you need. You know? Whenever I have. And if he wants to keep changing up, that's fine, because you know he keeps trying new things. He keeps grinding. Because I know if he's working his ass off, yeah, then I, that's something I'm gonna help support him. Whatever he wants yeah. to do, and I'm not gonna make him do something. Whenever I have my family, I would love them unconditionally. Yeah. Like no matter what, like if, like if I'm like 87, they still ain't got shit figured out, dude. Like I'm not gonna make you live on the streets. Yeah, know? no, I don't understand families that do that. Yeah, I'll, dude. Like let's like even that. if we there were something to go on and we broke up, bro, just knock on my door, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because like that's that's you know that's you're like if I spent like all these years. You know, with you, like raising you, and turned out you still haven't got your shit together by forty-seven, dude. I don't care, you know. Like, I, even like, because I feel like when I'm forty-seven, I'm not gonna have my. I, I didn't have my shit together. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't have got my shit together because that's because if he's going through that, it's something that you know. I like I, my life was just lucky, luckier mm-hmm. than he, his was. Mm-hmm. That's not fair. Shit happens. Yeah. You know, just because you know, um, 
we like when something happens doesn't mean I'm gonna disown you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I'm just because you're afraid to talk to me. Like, I will make my son my best friend. I will make my daughter my yeah. best friend. I will like I'm telling you like I want them to. This is the relationship that I have with my parents. Like I love them. Like nothing is yeah. going on. But I'm just not as open as I want myself. Yeah. I have a relationship to be. And but yeah, like me and my dad, I'm pretty open with my dad about. Yeah, stuff. but with me, it's like I'm, like it's still loving. But if I could talk to them like i talk to you mm-hmm. you know like i would love that but it's just like i would i would i still today would like want to like you know mm-hmm. like but um i want that i want that for my kids you know yeah i, I, really, I want to be able to like do like you're going through some things talk to me yeah because i feel like i'm super open-minded and i have like, yeah like i'm i can truly understand like yeah it's gonna be a little awkward but like eventually it would just be normal you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying like eventually you just start bringing up things throughout your day you know, like, yeah, I want to be able to just connect like in such a bond that just no matter what happens, no matter down the line, you know, you, like I've raised you for like maybe like twenty some years, you know, say you're my husband twenty two years, just because you be have just because you moved out and something happened, you know, you turned home this has been seven years. That's seven that you were home to twenty two. I fucking raised you. Yeah. Come fucking home, you know what I'm saying? Like I promise, like things won't be like like things would not be change like we're still gonna have a good time like i was yeah. still like you, you're my kid you know mm-hmm. yeah exactly and i kind of now i kind of i wouldn't want to say i completely understand parents though i feel like yeah, yeah, we'll never, kid, yeah, yeah totally. but like because i always think about key, it too i always low-key just be like thinking about how the day i'm gonna be like holding my child and how like in love i'm gonna fall with it yeah and uh, the parents do come up with some, like, you know, like, them bullshit stories and excuses why you can't do something. But it's, you want to understand, because they're parents. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. no ands, ors, or buts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, and I, eventually, we're going to get to that point. But I want it with unconditional love, man. I want it with just every soul, blood, you know, sweat. Like, I want this to be exactly like like me i want him to be as comfortable as i want him to, you know myself to be mm-hmm. comfortable with him because i know like especially when the teenager teenagers I, I hear that from adults all the time like their teenage like years are like one of the hardest yeah. for <laughs> don't be don't be wrong yeah. I, even i felt bad as a teenager like yeah. right now like when i reached to my parents like asking for shit i felt so bad i yeah. was like i was such a douche like i know they're like oh fuck <laughs> here we go we'll just <laughs> no Dude, but you know have you seen the movie um cock block with john cena no, I it's about so like him. It's him, some other chick, and another dude, and their three daughters are like having a plan to like lose their virginities on like it's either like prom night or senior night or something, and they all try to cock block them the whole night, <laughs> and so um. What? <laughs> I forgot what we were talking about. No. Oh, with um, the daughters. No, so I have no idea. <laughs> Damn it! I lost. Oh, so how's your like? Your, like me raising a kid. Oh, understanding. Oh, yeah, yeah, my bad. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. So there were these parents of one of the dudes, right? Yeah. And they were like super close to where like their parents like told his kid when they were having sex. He'd be like, "Hey, what? me and your mom are gonna be having sex. We're gonna be like roll." They, he the text was like. Hey, me and your mom are gonna be like role playing in the house having sex. So just so you know, so you can be out. And then he like told his the girl he was out with. He's like, yeah, my parents are at home having sex. He was like, he, they were just super close about it and open about it. I was like, what the heck? I'm not, I wouldn't be that close. No, <laughs> no way. <laughs> Sorry, bud, but I'll yeah, take, but I would take my ass somewhere else. <laughs> They were super That is weird, yeah. man. That mm-hmm. is straight. It, 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 there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a line. But it also, ha- it also talks about like John Cena. Yeah. And right. his, they're like all their kids. They all have like a special moment of yeah. like bonding. How you were talking. About. But I will like, I will fuck with my kid. If I know he's hot, I'm gonna fuck with him. Yeah. I will like, you know what I'm saying? I will. You, if I find yeah. weed in your house, I will smoke that. In yeah. my house, I will smoke that shit, and you'll be so confused. Right yeah. just, just, but I want you to come up to me and be like, Dad, have you seen my weed? Yeah. Like, <laughs> and just be like, like oh, what are you talking just about? Some, weed? I'm gonna beat them. <laughs> but I will, I will like fuck with him. Dude. I'll be like, like just walk down, walk down like the street and be like. 
yeah, so remember when we first saw me in a small wiener, you know, I just walked out, like, you know, he's just walking around with me, like, in the kitchen, and be like, yeah, some girl came by and tell you that you're ugly, like, <laughs> I love fucking with this dude. Um, I want to be able, like, I want to be able to share beer with my kid. Like, I want to yeah. be able for us to, like, go to a bar, like, eat at, you know, like, eat out to, like, a bar, and we're just chilling, just... Eating some wings, watching some basketball. Because my, me, I don't, I don't picture me and my dad the bar you no <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> my knee and my dad my christian father but you know who i could picture myself going to the bar with them my uncles yes all my uncle i've already done it with no i've done it with all my uncles i've already done it with all <laughs> yeah, my dude, uncles but just the last person like the least person that's gonna do it is your dad mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah and same with my dad it's just because my mom <laughs> Maybe one day, like I asked my dad, I was like, "Yeah, I'll probably do it with my mom one day again." Dude. Really? Yeah, I can share. You know, I would like to share a glass of wine with my mom though. Like I just, you know, they're they're just having wine and mom drinking wine. I'll drink with her. I wouldn't pull out a beer or nothing. That kind of. How old are you gonna be? Twenty, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll be twenty. Like, you know, mom just like drinking a glass of wine and she's enjoying herself. Like, man, pour me one. I'm a share. Yeah. <laughs> because that my mom doesn't drink beer. You know, mm-hmm. she's. Um, she doesn't drink to get drunk. She just, you know, yeah. she she likes wine because it tastes and stuff like that. Yeah, so it's a very Christian thing to do. Yeah, but um, I'm gonna cheers with my parents one day. Because my my me and my sister yeah. have this family. My older sister, she's like 23, so she's she had a good two years. Yeah. With that. <laughs> and I was like, dude, I was like, can't wait. I was like, yeah, I can't wait to uh, turn 21. We're gonna plan something big. And she's like, dude, let's you know we're like let's do it. And the first thing that came to mind was. We're gonna go to New Orleans during Monday. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, it's during my it's during my month birthday. You know what I'm saying? Dude, but can I want to go with y'all though? <laughs> Is it during that month? Huh? Is it during yeah. that month? Yeah, dude, that's gonna suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, wrong. I'm not uploading this podcast. I'm making a fake ID, bro. I'm just tell you that right like, yeah, now. I'm going with y'all. There's no way I get, I get caught, bro. I'm going. <laughs> Dude, that is fucking crazy. Are you caught that big and he toss run? Bro. La- last time she went, she went on the helicopter ride and she was like seeing the view from the c- like seeing the city from that view and mm. like, she looked like she was having a good time. I was so jealous when she was posting on her Snapchat. But yeah, but we're like yes, we we're totally doing it. But see, my girlfriend turns twenty one during the same month that you do, so we might just do it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who? Tierra. Yeah. It's her birthday during the two really so many years yeah. ago. So, you already know what we're going to do. Um, yeah, it's going to be fucking lit, hopefully. We can plan it pretty pretty well, though. But I've been in New Orleans. One of the, it's one of my favorite cities to go to. Like, we spent New Year's one day, one, like, one year. And, oh, I, I love it every moment. Really? The whole city is so gorgeous. But here I want to go um, because for the hoodoo voodoo shops. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they're big on that. <clears throat> one place I also would like to visit to is go back. I've been there a couple times, but I want to visit now and explore on my own. But Savannah, Georgia. Yes, dude. My dad has gone there. He said it's super pretty. Dude, it's, uh, it's one of my favorite cities, and I want to go. So, we should go this weekend. You just go to. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> this is gonna be uploaded by like a year. Cause now we need to take a podcast over there. <laughs> we will. We're gonna vlog for sure. Yes. Um. But yeah, Savannah. Savannah, Georgia is one of the prettiest places I've been to. And um, uh, they're famous for like their ghost tours, like mm-hmm. go to haunted like building stuff. And there's a I'm place in Florida that's also really popular for that. And really? they have the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. Mm-hmm. What's that? Crazy stuff. There, I think there's also like a Jack Jack the Ripper maybe like like museums. I think in Savannah, Georgia. Which is really, really that'd, be dope. Dope. that'd be dope. Um, they keep it. I pre- it's some that has to do with like old fashioned and stuff because like they keep yeah. it like during that time mm-hmm. period. Yeah. Every story, stuff like that, and Jack Ripper would just be a good story to put around because during that time, um, one place is that that's I heard was super pretty and super nice, but I've never been to, but I would love to go to is St. Augustine, Florida. Yeah, this city is super pretty. I heard they have the like one of the world's nicest beaches, like, yeah. My freaking cousin said, Bring me to that beach, uh, really? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, but it's super nice. Like, St. Augustine, the town itself, mm-hmm. super pretty. It's so nice to walk around. Hell yeah. Because there's just, like, boats and, like... You know, actually, one of my favorite places that I've been to in Florida, though, is Cocoa Beach. 
Yeah, Chicago would be too nice. Yeah, dude, because it's gonna keep it kind of like a surfer, like mm-hmm, you know, yeah. like town, just like. Dude, uh, another place that's like that is Honeymoon Island in Florida. Florida? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, the Sponge way. Dock. Yeah. Have you guys ever been to the Sponge Dock? In Florida. Florida, Florida Tampa. Is it Tampa yeah, or is it Tampa? Or t- or maybe Tampa Clearwater. It could be. Freaking Newport Richie Port- Newport- or, or Port Richie. <laughs> Check that shit out. It's dope. dope. It's, dope. Make sure you buy a freaking souvenir. Um, Don't buy a sponge. Just buy a souvenir. That's not a sponge. I uh, remember the first time. Yeah. I went. I went there when Pokemon Go was coming out. That place was filled with people. You walk in, oh, play. Dude, Pokemon. I remember. Oh my gosh, dude! Oh. I dropped my fucking skateboard in the fucking <laughs> like what is it like a, the river or something? Yeah. Like that? yeah, it was a whole fucking river next to the park. And oh wow! I I literally was skating and I hopped off or something, and my yeah. board just rolled. Um, also, what was that place? We went fishing in this one area. So Isaac's hook and got got caught under the dock. Oh yeah. And. <laughs> I had to like go down, like climb under, and like unhook it. And I'm like, God, crap. So the dock sits maybe freaking 12 feet, maybe 9 feet high above like the actual mm-hmm. water. And he, Isaac went under, you know, the dock and tried to unhook it. He's like holding on between these two wooden, like, you know, that holds, holds the freaking dock up. Mid trying to get off, he's been there for like a good five minutes. <laughs> he catches a cramp. <laughs> he's like hanging off this ledge trying to get this. Uh, get this hook, get his freaking uh, fish line on hook, and he's got, he catches his crab. I was, I was on the other side of the dock, so I don't know what happened. All I hear is like, I'm gonna catch a crab, and I run with it, and I was like, dude, where the fuck is this dude? Like, I was like, he's under dock, so I look like over it all, um, and it's fucking Isaac, like, hang on to his legs, like, I want to fall in the water, and then I fucking lost it. I want to fall in the water so bad. Oh my god. That was, ooh. Dude. That was a good day though. That was funny. We were fishing with Nano too. Yeah, when I was a really good fish. He's one of our funniest, funniest dudes. Oh, he did this. He embarrassed the fuck out of me though, dude. Oh, with oh, the man. Oh, the yeah. man. Dude, so this dude, alright, so our friend Nano, he plays soccer. He's, he's decent. He's decent at soccer, right? And we all went to the field to play some soccer. We were all just chilling, and at one point, I think we were about to leave or something, right? Yeah. And then out of nowhere, so. No, he's not. Just like okay. Hold on. So, their friend Nano, like, he got the ball between his legs, like, went up, like, moved his legs, and, like, just <laughs> threw the ball with both his legs, like, threw so it between his legs, and should have just megged him. And it was really beautiful thing <laughs> we've ever seen. Okay, so, what do you get? Um, a nutmeg is whenever you get a ball through someone's legs or anything. You just call it. And it's usually, like, getting dumped on. It's equal as a yeah. or so. So what Nano does, he, he tries to do a rainbow kick, mm-hmm. but the thing is, he rainbow kicks it so low yeah. that it kind of, he just flicks it on the ground, mm-hmm. and it just perfectly cooped between my legs. He just perfectly, yeah. like, and it was, I was doing like a mid-walk, yeah. and I just, I lost it. I was just like, dude, <laughs> how could you disrespect me? Yeah, was, it was so, it was so like crazy. Yeah, Nano, so fuck that. I'm, it was some like World Cup. First of all, Shit. whenever I said Nano's a good friend, he's only Isaac's friend. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> so, I, I have not been the man I was since then. Yeah. <laughs> I would tell you that you're right now, dude. James gave up soccer forever. <laughs> like, now he goes to the field and just, like, sits there. I, like, I just cry and just <laughs> memorize that moment. We but, really haven't played soccer in a long time, no, though. So because Nano, man. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Nah, no, but Nano's probably the funniest dudes ever. Yeah, we I had we had so many inside jokes in such a small period of time. Yeah. We were we went to Florida to visit our friend Nano for maybe a month. No, three, three weeks. weeks. And in those three weeks there's probably one of the like, you know, just yeah, that's James' first time meeting Nano. Yes, and like meeting Nano is the highlight of one of my lives. Without Nano you're my life. Like yeah, we had those stupid inside jokes. Yeah. Every time something would happen, everything some anything that that, that would Happen like anything dumb, <laughs> Dude, yeah, exactly. He would just, ah. <laughs> you'd be like, hey, now he's like, ah. but you could never do it the way he does, yeah, it's dude. just such a strange thing. But no, yeah, Nano backstory is my brother's ex girlfriend's brother, and like my family got super close to their With family, family, so I'm still close to like Joanny and Nano. Um, uh, Nano, though, was. Dude's stupid smart. Honestly. Yeah, he's really super smart. smart. Um, he actually 
he learned a little bit of Japanese just from watching anime. Like he's, he's mm-hmm. pretty decent to when he carries the conversation. He finished school. He just finished college too. Yeah. Um. But what did happen though is he. Yeah. Uh, he is, uh, but um, yeah, and also another friend of that part of the group, John. A friend, John. Mm-hmm. Probably one of the, he's funny. Like he's a, not John as in Captain Cool that you guys saw. Yeah. Like, a different John from Florida. Now he's just a dark humor, funny, super funny dude. So, yeah, <laughs> we have a bunch of inside jokes with him too. But Harry, Harry feels a stud now, though. Mm-hmm. I saw a picture of him. He's a comedian. He used to be so like kind of nerdy, but now he's like fresh as fuck, dude. Yeah, he's a huge. Getting mad, dude. bitches. I gotta <laughs> never get to see him every time I go to Florida. I go to Florida like twice a year, and it's so. You know what I wish I I I actually did back then if I knew I was gonna do this podcast. Do what? I would have vlogged everywhere I wanted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wish I vlogged when I was younger. I, and because I knew I was into vlogging. Like, yeah. I loved watching vlogs. I we just wish both I could... traveled a shit ton, dude. But I wish I could have picked up the camera. Yeah, no, dude. I know. That would have been crazy. Dude. Like, now, nah, but quality would be as good, but still good quality. I, like, care, I would remake right? them. I would, like, I wonder if Casey would ever do it. Casey Master, he vlogged a lot. I wonder if he would ever remake a day. Like, from shitty quality to yeah. good quality. But he actually he he's pretty he's so good at it. Mm-hmm. he he makes the best out of technology. We said that before. Yeah, he does. But with traveling, it's just like you guys are in, instantly it's just like fell over their channel. Yeah. Like I felt everything because there's some crazy stuff that happened. Mm-hmm. Some crazy stuff, especially with like you at bat. Especially, yeah. you, especially, you know, you probably get famous off of fucking recording the shittiest airlines. <laughs> Because <laughs> you've had really bad at airport and like you know. and no, every time I travel I take the shitty airlines. Cause you gotta think I travel so much. I travel per like last in twenty nineteen I got on a plane at least like thirty times, dude. Like that but that kind of like each trip is kinda of twice. Like, yeah, yeah. They're like fifteen trips. It was a lot. Like yeah. you know, I went to Puerto Rico, I went to Florida. Went, you went to a cruise. Yeah, I went to a I did a lot of stuff, but it's just yeah, it's um, tiring because they are so such bad airlines. Yeah, and you just uh, <laughs> there, no. There's one time I think our junior or senior year school Isaac was supposed to be in Florida for three days, right? And it was like those three days. It was like you missed maybe one day of school. So he goes. So <laughs> check this out. That sun. That I think it was three days, and you come. No, it was that Sunday you leave. That Sunday night. So it was Friday, Saturday, and you leave Sunday yeah. night. And get back Monday morning mm-hmm. from Florida. So he goes Sunday night. I think it was a late flight. I think maybe it was like eight o'clock. Mm-hmm. It, they canceled his flight. The we- no, the weather. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to get on it because I was under eighteen. And if uh, if they had to land because of bad weather, because there was some bad weather, if yeah. they had to land, I wouldn't be able to get a hotel. Mm-hmm. Not, yeah. So I had to stay there. Yeah. And they had to change my flight. And it was like a week later. later. So he missed a whole oh, week of flight. School, dude. Yeah. I missed a lot of school for trips. Like the cruise, I missed like a whole week. When I went to yeah. Europe, a whole week. Mm-hmm. I, I I be missing a lot. You don't. I'm telling you, you you travel. You travel a lot, but in the most inconvenient time. The most inconvenient time. That's like that's it really though. It's it's pretty bad. It's so bad. True. <laughs> Last time when I was in Florida for like three weeks, dude. Yeah, like whole bunch of shit that like that our friends were like off. The, yeah, everyone was off. Your family dude, came down. down. Through a party. And, and, dude, oh uh, my gosh, dude, it was pissed. it was so upsetting. And those times was like you were just chilling in the house. Yeah. You know, while your cousins. Was I, like, I'm I'm really glad I had that trip. Yeah, but yeah. I wish I would have done. It earlier because I had the chance to. I had the chance to leave earlier and I would have been back in time. My dude. Oh, uh, if I would have been able to spend like three weeks. You know what's kind of wild though? I only remember spending like the holidays, like Christmas and stuff, and like New Year's with you once. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you were in Florida or like you went to Georgia to visit your dad's like sister and do Christmas or you went to Florida. Like, it's kind of wild that you're never home for like actually home for the holidays. There's only, it's only I remember only once. Like I know you always have Thanksgiving, but like for Christmas yeah. and stuff, like you were, I don't I don't think I remember us even like firing fireworks on New Year's. Yeah, no, we did one year. One year, exactly. No, no, no. Exactly. Wait, no, we did it one year at your house. No, we did Fourth of July. In Nashville. Yeah, we did it in Nashville though. Yeah, that was fun for Fourth of July. 
feel it. But uh, yeah, you just leave it. Most give me time when everything like I don't understand the why, dude. I'd be leaving just for way too long too. That's true. I'd just be you, taking some like it was a big, yeah, it's a business trip. How long are you gonna be on? Two months. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like the whole, like I was in Puerto Rico for two months. Like, that's just, yeah. that's a long vacation, bro. I gotta, I gotta chill with that. That's a lot of money I'm wasting, dude. Cause I gotta, like, pay for stuff while I'm not home, you know? <laughs> Whenever you, dude, that's, that's the worst when you come back yeah. from vacation and, and you deal with Bro, yeah, dude, yeah, I'm just like, oh, I spent all my money. So, dude, me and my girlfriend went to Disney World this last, this, this summer we just had. I mean, one of the best months of my life, you know? Like, we, we go back there die happy like you know what i'm saying like that's where i can end my life it was so nice like, i loved every moment of their disney world and it, it made it even better because it was our first time mm -hmm. and oh i had such a good time and i was like on the way back but drive back because it was like a good nine hour drive back yeah i i was like so upset i was so upset and i was like fuck man why is this your world the happiest place on earth? Like, yeah. it legitimately is. Yeah. I've never had a bad experience going to Disney World. I've been a handful of times. Never a bad time. Never a yeah. bad time. I mean, I've been to a beautiful parks before and had terrible times. Trust me. Really? But Disney World, never. No, nah, I've never had a bad time. And beautiful parks, no, really? They've always been the best. The parks have always been. Because you got to think, like, Florida. Like, if you lived in Florida, you got, like, really cheap, like, back then. You got, like, really cheap, like, yearly passes. So like for sixty bucks a family yeah. member, you can get a year pass. You can go a limited time. Yeah. So like we have one for like Disney, we have one for like Bush Gardens. Dude, yeah, that's like Bush Gardens. I've been to many, many times. Yeah, but it still never it's gets old. Never gets old. I gotta take you to this um, this the local um, music park, just like Bush Gardens, but it's where I, we were stationed before in Valdosta, Georgia, mm. called Adventure Mountains, and it's basically like Bush Gardens. Oh, it yes. might be a little smaller, but it never gets old. Really? It never gets old. And they'd be doing like I know Bush Gardens also does like. What we call phobia, which is like during Halloween times, they do. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, dope. What is yours called? I'm pretty sure. Um, horror or Halloween horror nights, I think. Yeah, but those those are the best moments, you know? and like yeah. especially during like the holidays when it's all Christmassy. Like, yeah. I love that stuff. But yeah, um, what's the best feeling though? Um, what was the best feeling ever? Like one of the best feelings ever going to Disney World was whenever my siblings were old enough to where they didn't need strollers. That yeah. was stress relieving for like not just my parents, yeah, but for like me being an older sibling because you know like, I had to carry them. Yes, like, the whole oh, them. and then like you gotta find like you'd rush you to go to a ride, but your parents gotta find stroller parking, keep up with your stroller, make sure you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. that was the best of my sibling. when we went to Disney World, and for the like first time we didn't have strollers. Oh man, dude, that feeling was absolutely exciting to me. Like. And I can't wait to, like, that's something that we have to do with the parent. It's like, yeah, having, uh, man, I'm going to have my baby on my face. Yeah, obviously. You better not be in the rock going to do That baby fell apart. She starts swinging everywhere, bro. Gonna, dude, I'm telling you, my life kid, at the fullest, the one year old. Like how I said, dude, I want my kids to be so comfortable with each other. That's how comfortable. <laughs> we will ride everyone. For one week out of being born. That's, that's what I would love to do, is like, to be a parent. To like, like I hope that roller coasters always gonna be joy for me because my parents don't like roller coasters. Headaches, you know. Dude, my dad sometimes. But my kids don't like roller coasters. I'm not gonna lie. I will be kind of upset. I'm gonna be. Really what if you're afraid of heights? Huh? What if you're afraid of heights? I'm afraid of heights. I still don't roller exactly. Roller coasters. Exactly. Mostly is super bad when you want to ride roller coasters. Oh, then I'd be like, okay. Do you sin? I pay for fast pass if I want to take too long. I'd be like, do you dude? Go eat a snack yourself, bro. Go on the ride. <laughs> Come back out. Be like, you see this photo? I'm flicking you off. Ooh. All right, son, let's go. <laughs> That's the funniest shit I've ever heard. And then we go do something dude, else. Dude, it'll be hilarious whenever, like, um, like... Your daughter, like, so close to where he is, and he'll just put that on his in the suitcase all the time. He's such a pussy. Yeah, man, yeah. Pass, pass, dude, that would be, like, that's why I kind of want to adopt, because I want to have a boy and a girl. Mm. But I also think it's good to adopt. Yeah. yeah. But I want him to, like, grow up exactly like that. That'd be funny. It's like, super, like, me and, like, my daughter can make fun of her son. I'm <laughs> like, loser. You ready to roll again? Yeah, dude. That was... <laughs> I would, but I want to like roast me back though. But you know? I would still I want to be healthy. You know? I would still try to like enjoy rides that he likes. Right? Yeah, oh, of course. Like, I do. Because, because even if you don't like like 
um slide like not because I, just... I love slides too like water parks but yeah. I love water parks even though people it's kind of gross yeah. But like the experience, like when you get out, like riding a slide is so fun. Yeah, it's it really is. Like back at the end when everybody's like feet is like fucking. Right. <laughs> You'll never catch me swimming in those pools though. Like I like I like slides, not pools. Yeah. <laughs> I'm chill like next to the pool, but no, nah, bro, I'm not getting in there. There's so many people peeing all the time. Like in a slide, no one's gonna pee in the middle of the no, slide. No, it's not that. It's just like no, that's like, what it is to me, bro. When I and I don't wanna be near that. When people. I swim or like near, like if I'm gonna get somewhere. Want to be private? It's, it might be just a question. Because yeah, no, like, even at the that. beach, if you know, a beach can be packed, but I like to be like around, like most of I want my own. Yeah. Area. Like if I had a beach all to myself, that's the best to me. Because I can explore the whole beach. It might just because like I'm I can swim. No, it's not like being able to swim wherever I want. Like, yeah, yeah, having yeah. the whole thing to myself. Exactly. Because whenever you're, especially when you're a kid, like whenever you want to swim, like put goggles on, you don't want to run into everybody. Yeah, exactly. Like, get out of my way. Oh, there's so much like, thick girls, and they're like, ooh, I'm like, <laughs> bump into that, bump into. That. Some like forty year old mom. He's like, oh, what the fuck? Is this whose kid is this? Has an old bra. Like, look what I got. Family very in that bitch, bro. Uh-huh. But I would uh, the with the unconditional love. <coughs> even if my kid, my kids have like the same opposite taste of me, I would try to force myself. To still try to enjoy the exactly because I want them to try as much as they want, and for that I want to be as like open, open as to possible what to what they want to do, so they feel comfortable doing it. So like if they want to start doing like I don't know some like yoga, that's a new trend. They do yoga in the middle of the streets. That's what they doing now in twenty forty, I guess. Yeah. When I, I'll be like, I'll be forty years old. Yeah. No, I'll be like twenty in twenty fifty. Okay. So I'll be. I'll be like tw- I'll be like forty when I have the kid. Uh huh. Twenty sixty. Twenty sixty. The new trend is doing yoga in the street. Sixty year old Isaac. Yes, you finna see me with my son doing yoga middle of the street, bro. Yeah, that's just what we finna be doing. Like I will still like. I will, but don't get me wrong. I'm gonna still because I'm I'm still this person this way. I don't want to be like a douche, but like I will, if you're like if my kid's like. Hating on something that he not, doesn't really like know about. I want to show him how to correctly. Yeah, yeah. I want to know. Force it to him, but like, say he's like, anime's trash. I'm not, but like, you never seen an anime. Push <laughs> back. I can't roll the one. <laughs> My kid. I'm not, but like, how am I gonna say? Like, I'm not gonna force something, but I want to open him to something that's more like a little. Give him options about like you know, kind of the same kind of. Like anime, no, like, dude, like when I anime. adopt my kid, like in in his description, it better be massive anime <laughs> fan. Like it's been no, um, like it better be like Tinder with an like adoption kid. Yeah. It doesn't say they don't like swipe. But say he say he doesn't like anime, and you know I already tried, and, but say he likes documentaries. You know I will sit down try and enjoy documentaries. Yeah, Even if it's I, I enjoy documentaries. I do. do like I do. still would. Yeah, yeah, I would honestly. Yeah, honestly, I just like whatever he. I just watch whatever he mm-hmm. likes. But say if my my uh you know my kids like, like end up liking cricket don't know anything about cricket i'm gonna I'm try you know yeah. like i'm gonna i'd be like i guess i'm learning cricket I'm now. Te- I'm you know like old. i will help my brain to become the best Easy. cricketer cricketer mm-hmm. jiminy cricket you'd be the best jiminy gemini you'd be um, the best gemini um but yeah but it would just suck if like it would just suck for your kid to be completely opposite than you yeah yeah. But like, it, but it, you just but, that you just have to work harder, you know, mm-hmm, to yeah. like, and like it all comes to that unconditional love, you know, right. everything you do for your kid. Because I feel like their parents are there's parents who like never try like I want to hate your kid, but like, um, like because they do something different than you do, you you know, you always like oh yeah. you're always on that what you're always doing that mm-hmm. you know you're always watching the show oh. You're always on the gate, you know, on your Xbox. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a point where like they're just playing to play, but if you know they're not supposed to be on it, well, like you know they, you know, we're supposed to do something before they go on. Yeah. You know, but if you're just like because they're enjoying themselves, because you don't really like, mm-hmm. you know, like, you know, and yeah, it's something you don't really enjoy or watching. You know, just yeah. at least hop on and play. It. Let him whoop your ass in some. Yeah. Big, you know. No. <laughs> if I get good enough to where I, I'll be like, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ooh, Don Chick, still finna be good 2060. Just saying, he's finna be the best 2060. By the way, I know we said this before, but rest in peace, Kobe. Uh, I, mean, well, I don't know why you brought that up, bro, because we're actually about. We're, we we kind of have a bit, so oh, 54 man, minutes. Uh, and you brought up Kobe. But and you I'm know upset. what? <laughs> but we 
finna change it up. Happy mood. We love Elon you, Elon Musk. His stocks went up to nine twenty. Whoever sold them at that much money and gave a lot of money, good for you, man. By the way, Elon Musk, please drop the Tesla bike. Please, we'll be yeah, the first people. Yeah, made a concept, it. Casey Neistat. Just make it a real thing, please. Yeah, we appreciate you, but um, we gotta go. Yeah. Um, we leave it off of that. Make sure you actually I would say enjoy yourself. Be proud of your A, B, C, D, F. As long as you gave your hundred mm-hmm. percent, as long as you're trying, as long as you can do whatever it takes for you to get through whatever you're going through. I want you to know we're proud. You should be proud of yourself. Your friends are proud, even though they don't tell you because they're dicks, but they're proud. Mm-hmm. Whatever you got going on, you can get through it. Um, and I'm James. Now I'm Isaac. I'm Filipino. And I'm Colombian. <laughs> and this has been... Conversations from above. We'll see you guys. <laughs>